When last we observed this process, we were having difficulty with the gain of the system. As we turned the set point down towards the low end of the range, we found we had a lot of oscillation. And the principal reason for that was our control valve was linear trim instead of being uh, equal percent. So we've replaced the control valve. It's now an equal percent control valve. It says H percent. And for the research control brand, the percent symbol right there tells you that's an equal percent characteristic on the trim. What this means now is if I take my set point and adjust it up in the range, down the range, we see much more uh, consistent response. So watch this. So a little bit of error there. You probably need a little bit more interval action. There we go. Came up to set point pretty quickly. No overshoot, no oscillation. Looking pretty good at the top end. If I turn it down, Basically the same response, a little bit of offset here, integral slowly takes care of that offset, but we don't have oscillation the way we had before. The last time we tried this, it was horribly over-responsive at the bottom and under-responsive at the top. Now it's much more consistent. The only thing we did differently here is change out that control valve to an equal percentage trim. So now what happens down at the bottom end of the control valve's range, we don't have as big of an effect on the flow rate per inch of motion or fractional inch of motion on the valve stem as we did before. Before, when we were down at the low end of the range with a, uh, a valve that was largely uh, linear trim, what was happening is with a high pressure drop across the valve, even small amounts of stem motion caused huge uh, changes in flow rate. With the equal percentage trim, the shape of that valve is actually different, the shape of the valve trim itself, which means now down towards the low end of the range, down towards where it's closed, what we see is that um, small amounts of valve stem motion have small amounts of flow change impact, even with high pressure drop. So much more consistent process gain at the, uh, across the scale, across the whole range of this thing's operation than we did before. So once again, towards the top end of the range, mid-range I should say, good response. Top end of the range, good consistent response. Same thing there. If we make large changes down towards the bottom, we see, again, the same consistency of response. Now, maybe a little bit sluggish with regard to integral, but we're not seeing the huge oscillations at the bottom and sluggishness at the top like we did before with a linear trim valve.